Ah, oh, so it's time to go fast with the TV computer game system. Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a closer at the TV computer game system that I recently picked up. And what I understand of this thing is brand new in box. Over the years, they have released so many weird plug and play devices, but this is more like a game system itself. It also includes a lot of new features that we didn't see before with your typical AliExpress Famicom clones. So everything is Dutch and that means that this thing is basically like targeted for the Dutch market back in the day. But it keeps me wondering which year it was and basically what you need to expect from it. 99 games come including and it also comes with the laser gun. But if you like these devices, which could say consider subscribing because I love like reviewing a lot of these weird Famicom clones or plug and play devices. Beside the point, I did a lot of reviews about them in the past. Alright, so let's unzip it and let's see what we're going to get in the insides. Someday I need to make myself a top 10 of weird devices. And this is absolutely one of those products I'm going to implement into this top 10. Because look at this. This is the thing that we're going to get and it's absolutely brand new so far I can see. Oh yeah, some products are brand new. Damn it, he lied to me. Nevertheless, it doesn't matter. We're going to get a controller. We do going to get one light gun. Looks kind of futuristic. It comes with a cable, the power supply, always very convenient because sometimes they missing the freaking power supply. The game system itself, and you would say like maybe this is like a motion system. No, no, this is just like what it is. Like the controller, or it's first set like the first controller because the second controller is actually like a game system. Because here at the back, we can implement the cartridge and yep, it's a Famicom player. This thing is called the model WT994 8-bit or better said CPU is 8-bit rating. 7.5 volts, quite interesting voltage because you don't see that very often. Here you need to plug in the second game or the, of the controller and the... You can see it over here, yep, the player 2 controller and the gun. Then we do have like the RF out. There's no cable for that, but we do have the option for video and audio, DC in and the on off switch over here. So just basically like how you need to play this thing. We do have a turbo function, reset, select start, all the function keys that we're going to need. So interesting that we do have like a turbo button here, but what are the two other buttons for? But let's take a close look at the paperwork because I'm curious what are we going to get. So everything is in Dutch, yep. So here it says like it, it contains 30 to 24 games. Or real race, real games with 99 or on the like shooting games. It's kind of weird. Like the description is kind of vague, if you ask me. So let's see. No, there's no air escape. I'm still bumping my freaking camera. Then we do have the condition and the warranty. Oh, we got 12 months warranty. Like when was this thing released? Hmm. Said like shipping return address is in Belgium. Oh, in here we do have the other cable. I thought it was not in here. So let's see. Do we have the TV game computer? Multi-game card is just actually like a multi-card Famicom and what the seriously? <laughs> oh, it's seriously like you need to. All right, so putting this in, and you can just make the controller complete like that. <sighs> Never mind, you get the point. But well, we're going to try it out on the CRT to to TV to to. So I cannot talk anymore. We're going to try it out on the CRT television today. <laughs> Talking so freaking hard sometimes. All right, so we're starting off with the system seems to be powering on, but there is no signal whatsoever. So we don't know what the hell is going on. I plug in everything in the right position. Nothing is wrong here. Oh yeah, I know why. Wait, I forgot to plug in the freaking game. It doesn't have built-in games. All right, so let's see if it does make any difference because I, you normally need to have like signal. See, that's the thing, like. There is no signal whatsoever, so I don't know what's going on here, but it doesn't go right. <sighs> Sometimes I get so really tired of these crappy products. So everything has been connected, including the game cartridge, but it seems to be not working. So let's try a different cable. All right, new cable has been connected. Uh, what you can see over here, it seems to be working, but the problem is with the freaking cartridge at the back, if you accidentally bump it, it freezes. Oh, and it just automatically starts the game. Wreck and field. Okay, we're done with the game. So, absolutely garbage, it's going to be like this old school multi game car with a shitload of games or double games. And it seems to stop working now. Hello? Oh man, this thing is such a pain to work with. We have a game like called Archer, what the hell is that? Oh, see, this is what I mean. We're going to get a lot of double stuff. Ugh. Okay, so let's see if we can actually play a game. Okay, do we have FIFA Soccer 4? Seriously, like, is this, is this actually like... 
Oh, uh, it's just World Cup. With mouses. Is that normal? I think not. Let me know in the comments, like, did you ever play a World Cup game? That's sound effects. Come up! Oh yeah. So basically what we can do with the light gun later on, we do have the clay shooting game, we do have duck hunt, I'm guessing otherwise I do have like this on the different cartridge. But you can hear that it doesn't run the full speed, so these are all PAL games, and that's normal because back in the day we had a PAL system of course. The D-pad plays actually pretty good. Where first? Got an extra tank. This game is absolutely so much fun. They also have like some remakes and there are some arcade versions out there. They're absolutely cool. Oh, good shooter right of it. But the funny thing is like there are actually like nine games on it. Because when you choose Javelin 7, it shows track and field. So it's kind of interesting to see how many games are on this device. Like, how could they sell something like this? Okay, so the light gun has been connected into the second port. Let's boot up a game and let's see how it works. I must say that actually like when you're looking at the image quality, it looks quite nice on the CRT. Okay, let's see if bloody thing works. Here it comes, let's go. Oh, this thing looks weird. It feels cheap. It seems to be working just fine. Okay, that's cool. New round. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, come on, can we complete it? Can we complete it? Can we complete it? Come on! Okay, let's try the old famous Dark Hunt. Here it comes. Seriously, like, I'm just going to point somewhere else. Okay, so actually, it is indeed, like, quite accurate. So it's not like I can shoot anywhere, it does, it does work. No, this freaking thing is absolutely very accurate. Okay, let's do another one again. Ooh. So when it comes to the functionality of the device, it's a quite interesting one. And like with the freaking cheap plastic light gun, it seems to be working just very well. But again, like it's not a light gun, it's a laser gun. So, can I get it? Oh, yeah, I can still like remove it. But don't ask me how. So let's do a quick teardown because this is something I know a lot of you love to see what is inside. And again, like this is a quite interesting concept. So you're looking how it just looks like and steering wheel with a system inside. That is something you just need to rip it here just to see how it looks. I never understand like what's the point about the giving and racing wheels. More like when you're plugging it in into a portable monitor, that you can just maybe fuel on the road or something. <laughs> Seriously, like I don't make any sense. But again, like the quality, it's yeah. What do I think about it? It's just a Famicom play. Let's put it that way. It does run only PAL stuff, so far I understand. So there is no switch whatsoever. Okay, the next thing we need to do is remove these two over here. And let's see if we can just rip and tear it, just to see what's on the inside. There will be not like extra chips because there is no built-in games whatsoever. Okay, so what is quite interesting, there was a third hole over there for opening it up. So let's do a quick in peek in the inside. So what you can see here at the steering part, basically we're going to get the PCB that is for not the cartridge slots, it's only for the input and output. Input for the power and output for the signal itself. So there is a production date over here, it says 2004. So basically that is when this thing was made. That is quite late if you ask me. There because they are using the 8-bit stuff. So I don't know where they sold this, but I'm guessing more like these retailers are they are putting it on the shelf. But in the end, that's a quite interesting concept over here. So let's take a close look at the number two, because this is quite interesting to see. We have seen ourselves like some interesting PCBs, but this is one of the most unique versions I've ever seen. Look at that, like the shape of the freaking racing wheel. So this Famicom has been squeezed into this like racing wheel. This is basically the main board that also contains a connector for entering the game and that's it. I can already show you if you're going to remove this, it's going to be like a nest on a chip. But of course with the black blob, so we cannot really see what kind of stuff they were using.
But it's quite interesting that the piece we have shown you for the input and output, this is for to, to, made in 2004, but here you can see like this is made in 2003. So this thing even is a little bit older. So I'm guessing some parts are newer and these have been developed in 2003 already. So it's quite interesting how they basically made this and when everything has been made. I already mentioned a couple of times that this is one of the weirdest devices I've reviewed here on the channel. Like this thing is absolutely weird because of the shape of the system itself. The TV game computer and absolutely, uh, it's it's like horrible. When you plug in the freaking cartridge and you accidentally bump it, it freezes the game. So it is not super convenient. The controller is like your typical like fake control we've seen before with Famicom clones from AliExpress. But the light gun, this like, Cheaper to cheap cheap with a button that gets stuck sometimes, but this thing works pretty damn good. And the games, oh man, this is like absolutely garbage. TV game console, whatever. It's 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 freaking lie, man. Like 99 games, there are like even like freaking 10 games on it. That pisses me off the most. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Did you ever consider getting something like that, or did you own it? But well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that later bell, and it will be great to see you in the next video.